everyone i welcome all of you in this session and in this session we are going to talk about the use of simple present simple present is one of the crucial tense in the english language tenses and learning tenses is important one in the learning of english language but most one is a simple present that we are going to discuss which are the crucial and important factors when we use simple present if you learn simple present tense then most of the activity you can tell you can express in these tense so in these tense initially two important things we have to keep in mind first one is how many types of sentences we can make with the help of this tense or in the simple present tense and these are assertive sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence even the sentences of question tag we can make so while making all these types of sentence the crucial one is its basic pattern as is given in the table for assertive sentence subject main verb and object this is the basic pattern is called static structure if you keep in mind this structure then so many sentences you can create based on this pattern just like he writes a letter c writes a letter they write a letter they teach c teaches he teaches he swims they swim so many sentences you can make if you know the basic structure of assertive sentence in simple present in a same way interrogative for interrogative as given in the table helping verb is necessary to put initially then subject main verb and object does he write a letter and like this so many sentences you can form for imperative only verb and object are necessary then remaining part of the sentence it depends on you how to extend it for example verb and object write a letter sit down stand up go there don't go there but basic pattern while making imperative sentence in order to give order to somebody is verb and object verb is necessary to put initially and then object if you want to make your conversation dramatic one then you can use the sentences of question tag and for question tag the basic pattern is given in table subject main verb object then comma is given because it is the end of the regular sentence and then question tag begins with helping verb if sentence is positive then in question tag negation is given so not and the last one is pronoun just like he writes a letter does he so in this way with the help of the basic pattern we can make a lot of sentences with the help of learning only one that is simple present tense so when we learn this basic pattern then is it a end of learning obviously no one more dimension of each and every sent, uh, tense and simple present is not exception to this we have to keep in mind and that is how this tense is necessary to be used in which situation 
which are the proper situation can be expressed or can be told in simple present. So, basic uses and simple present is used to tell habitual action, to express general or universal truth, maybe present truth, maybe future action or if you want to do commentary, cricket commentary or news report, then this simple present tense is used. So, there are many uses of simple present and if you learn all these basic uses, then you can use simple present effectively and you can achieve correctness, mastery in your communication. So, every habitual action is necessary to be narrated in simple present. Just like I wake up at 7 o'clock or 7 a.m. in morning. We take up a cup of tea every evening or every day or every morning. So, just like I go to the college at 8 o'clock, 7.30, 7 o'clock. So, I take my bath, I study. So, each and every habitual action, a routine, you can express in simple present. General truth, sugar is sweet, salt is a salty. So, you cannot say sugar was sweet. If you say sugar was sweet, then it means sugar is not sweet now. So, if it is a truth, it is necessary to be expressed in simple present. Then, present truth sometime. For example, my brother works in a sugar factory, so can be told in simple present or future action. School reopens on Monday. If it is a plan, it is a part of planning. Every year school reopens on Monday can be said or every year school reopens in the month of June. So, future action which is a part of your planning is necessary to be expressed in simple present. Or commentary, if you want to make your commentary dramatic, Tendulkar hits the ball towards the square leg boundary. So, it is not necessary or to think which tense should be used either perfect or because he already hit it. No, if you want to make it dramatic, then simple present is used in commentary. And the last one which is given in table while using simple present, some are the adverbs usually are necessary to use in only simple present, just like usually, normally, often, sometime, always, seldom, never, frequently, generally and so on. Sometime, by mistake we use these adverbs with other tenses, but which is wrong. So, this is also necessary and if you are able to use simple tense while keeping in mind the basic structure, you can form a good dialogue with the help of or to do the practice of simple present. As one example is given here, that habitual action which is in dialogue, hi, good morning. So, response is, hi, good morning to you. How are you? I'm fine. What is about you? I'm good. When do you wake up in the morning? I wake up 5 o'clock in the morning. How do you manage it? Obvious, 
it is due to self motivation when do you wake up in response i wake up a little bit late do you go for gym exercise and then so on you can extend the dialogue you can form many sentences which are related to your habitual action and you can practice in order to learn language so in this way learning of each and every tense like a simple present you can make meaningful and fruitful that will enrich your language learning so i hope it will be meaningful and happy learning to you thank you thank you very much